Hello, we are Oscar, Esther, and Maya from Latvia. Can we have a presentation, please? Uh, while the presentation is queuing, I will tell you that Oscar and Esther won our annual uh, competition, which is called We Own the Sky. Uh, and now, uh, visiting the space camp is their prize. And it became my prize also. So have, give, give your hands up to the winners of the competition. <laughs> so, but um, I'm still waiting for the presentation. Can we have that? Thank you. So, <clears throat> we already introduced us, but let's go on. So, first question that usually we get, where is Latvia? <laughs> so, as you can see, we're pretty far. If you have your jet, like a Boeing 797, <laughs> you could have 16 hours straight direct flight to Riga, and you will get there. In kilometers, you get almost 8,000, in miles, almost 5,000 miles. What is Latvia? Latvia is a country on the sea, coast of Baltic Sea, close to the big Russian neighbor, which is right there, and all the rest of the European countries. To make easier for United States inhabitants to understand how much, how big are we, we could compare ourselves to the state of West Virginia, which is, well, you do the math, how much we differ from them. Then, what happened in Latvia? Could I please have the video? What happened? Uh, I think there's nothing special. Uh, well, government, only government official can say anything like that. Right? <laughs> but I can tell you, anything but nothing special happens in Latvia. Since 1873, people gather every five years to sing and dance together. Last year, in 2003, festival, this festival joined 3,500 people singing and dancing together. Uh, for comparison, this year we were hosting the International Qu uh, Choir Competition, which hosted 7,500 uh, 75 countries, and uh, almost 80% of the total number of the competitors came from Latvia. We have the first ever European champions in basketball in 1935. Before that, we didn't even have a real uh, team. So to actually honor these great uh, guys, we made a movie about them yes, la last year. Also, we have great inventions that are not belong belonging to us anymore, but still we own the, uh, the first idea. So inventor, inventor Walter Stubbs built the first smallest spy camera, Minox, which is now owned by our great German neighbors. Can I have please the video there? And the video will show why all of you already know this invention. All of you know that from True Beverly Hills, 1989. Uh, the most luxurious uh, armored cars are produced in Latvia. They call Dart, and uh, they are both both by uh, uh, really rich uh, people or the bad guys. <laughs> Uh, 
Latvia is the home country of Marish Strombergs and uh, a double and only Olympic champion in the BMX uh, since it was made on Olympic sports. We know how to make ice as well as we have it on lakes in winter. So, uh, so we are pretty good at ice hockey and we can scare Canada as well as we can beat USA. <laughs> so and these great and wonderful Oh, uh, just, I guess we missed things. These, these two guys are also a European and, uh, champions and bronze medalists in beach volley, which also says that we do have sand and we do have beaches. So when these great and beautiful countries get beat in uh, sports by Latvia, the first thing you can find in Google is, where's Latvia? <laughs> Uh, our sports fans are so eager for uh, good videos, they created, they, they created an uh, air dog. Uh, they create drones that follow the sportists and uh, films it. It, it uh, raised uh, 20k in three days on uh, crowdsourcing portal Kickstarter. Uh, just a little bit correction, 200 thousand dollars in three days were raised by these guys so and to conclude on a space note uh, scientist Friedrich Sander was one of the first to come up with the idea of propulsion engines for rockets and built one in 1933 as well as made some calculations even for interplanetary flights and flight to Mars so basically what we can conclude is that Latvia is a wonderful country with great nature, which of course, unfortunately, you didn't see in this presentation, but still there is one. Uh, there are wonderful people who sing before they speak. Uh, we do have complex history, but we do have ingenious inventors. But for the sake of the space science, we consider that Latvia is the cradle of the rocket science.